Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the English online lesson with Teacher Eu. Today we are going to learn Year 4, Module 9 under the title Get Active. We are going to use the Get Smart 4 book, page 93, as our reference. Now, these are the learning objectives for this lesson. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to number 1. Listen to a song 2. Number pictures correctly and 3. Construct sentences correctly Okay, boys and girls, now let's go through the vocabulary for this lesson. Our first vocabulary is Easy Easy Hard, hard, easy maksud dia mudah ataupun senang. Hard maksud dia susah. Next, we have popular, popular and fun, fun. Popular bermaksud terkenal, fun bermaksud seronok. And lastly, we have cycling. Cycling. Cycling bererti mengayuh basikal. So now, boys and girls, let's listen to a song. This song is taken from the Get Smart 4 book, page 93. 1. Listen and number 1 to 6. Then sing. Sports. I like ice skating because it's fun And I love playing tennis <laughs> because I'm number one I enjoy swimming and cycling too They're both very easy, you can do them too I hate doing gymnastics It's very boring Alright, so now let's number these pictures based on the song that you heard just now. Okay, we have six pictures here. A, B, C, D, E and F. So we are going to put number one until six. Let's read the lyrics. I like ice skating because it's fun. So which one is ice skating? Yes, D. The picture D is ice skating. So we put here number one. And I love playing tennis because I'm number one. So playing tennis is number two. Which picture? Playing tennis is A. Okay. I enjoy swimming. Swimming. So, which one is swimming? Yes, swimming is B. Alright, so we put here number 3. And cycling too. So, cycling is a sport. Okay, so cycling E. E is number 4. They are both very easy. You can do them too. I hate doing gymnastics. Uh, so, which one is gymnastic? Is it C or F? Number 5. C. Okay, this is gymnastic. It's very boring. But I love playing football. Ah, playing football is number 6. So, F is number 6. Especially when I'm scoring. Okay, so the value of the song is lead an active life. Okay, maksud dia kita kena sentiasa uh, aktif dalam kehidupan seharian. Okay, so now let's read some of the sentences from the song. Number one, I like ice skating because it's fun. Two, I don't like cycling. Three, I love playing tennis. Four, I enjoy swimming. Five, I hate doing gymnastics. If you look at these sentences carefully, we put ing straight away at the activity. Okay, kita letak ing dekat activity 
dalam satu ayat tu. Right, for example, number one, the activity is I skate. When we put I and G, it becomes I skating. Okay, number two, I don't like cycling. Okay, so the activity is cycle. We put I and G, it becomes cycling. So, number one, we cannot say I like playing ice skate. Kita tak boleh cakap I like playing ice skate. Kita kena cakap uh, ice skating. Okay. Number two is also the same. Pun sama juga dengan nombor dua. I don't like cycling. We cannot say I don't like playing cycle. Uh, kita tak boleh cakap playing cycling. Okay. Ataupun playing cycle. Kalau dalam bahasa Melayu kita selalu cakap main basikal, main basikal kan. Tapi dalam bahasa Inggeris kita tak boleh cakap playing cycle. Itu salah. Okay. However, for some activities, we cannot simply put ing. Okay. Ada aktiviti tertentu yang kita tak boleh uh, straight away letak ing. Kita kena tambah perkataan lain. We have to add another word before the activity. For example, I love playing tennis. Uh, so, kita we add playing. Okay. Kita tambah perkataan playing dekat depan dia. Kita tak boleh cakap I love tennising. Ha, ni salah. Okay. Ha, dia tambah tennis jadi tennising. That is wrong. Same goes to number four. I enjoy swimming. So the activity is uh, swimming. Okay. Kita tak boleh cakap I enjoy playing swim. Ha, itu salah. I enjoy playing swim salah. Kalau untuk swim, kita tambah ing. Lastly, number five. I hate doing gymnastic. Okay. We add the word doing. Kita tambah perkataan doing dekat depan dia. Alright. We cannot say I hate gymnasticing. Ha, gymnastic ni kita tambah ing jadi gymnasticing. That is wrong. Okay. So, we have to look at the activity carefully. So, some activities we can simply add ing and some of the activities we have to put another word before the activity. Okay. Okay, so now let us look at the pictures in page 93. Okay, there are some activities. So what are we going to do is we are going to decide whether we have to add uh, ing or we have to add another word before the activity. Okay, kita nak tambah ing ataupun nak tambah perkataan lain sebelum activity tu. Okay, activity number one, netball. We add a word or we add ing. We add a word. So, it becomes playing netball. Next, tennis. Add a word or add ing. Tambah perkataan ataupun tambah ing. Yes, we add the word playing. Okay, so it becomes playing tennis. Next, football. Word or ing. A word, playing football. Swim, a word or ing. Ing, so it becomes swimming. Cycle, a word or ing. Ing, it becomes cycling. Ice skate, word or ing. I, ing, okay, it becomes ice skating. Baseball, a word or ing. A word, okay, we add playing baseball. Lastly, windsurf. So, a word or ing. Ing, so it becomes windsurfing. Okay? Alright, so now it's time for the task of this lesson. Construct 10 sentences from the table. Okay, so anda perlu membina 10 uh, ayat daripada jadual ini. Alright, we have here, like, don't like, love, enjoy, hate. Okay, so here we have the activities and here are the adjectives. Popular, fun, easy, hard, boring and exciting. So choose which phrases and construct a sentence. For example... I like playing netball because it's fun. So we use like, we use playing netball and then we use fun. Okay. Example number two. 
I don't like windsurfing because it's hard. So we use don't like, windsurfing and hard. Okay, so choose uh, the phrases that you would like to use and then make sentences. Okay, so if you have any problem, feel free to ask me through the telegram. Right, so that's all for today. Take care and don't forget to study. Goodbye.